I finally managed to get the black up to a gold score yesterday. Um, I started off with a perfect score in Norway, um, followed by uh, some good rounds in uh, India uh, and in uh, Uruguay. The, uh, one in Uruguay could have been a perfect score if I if I hadn't rushed it. Um, I had a decent score in Australia and I finished off with a very good round in Cambodia. So I just about managed to get a gold score. I want to try to see if we can get one uh, again today. So let's go. All right, let's see where we are. Okay, this look, uh, Czech Republic. Uh, just because of this R, I'm going to put a market down in Czech Republic straight to, uh, straight away. So it's old Rikov seems to be the place. I have a feeling maybe should go south, but I'll try to go in this direction first. See if we can see any the other signs. A deck and pounding doesn't really help. Uh, we're on more of a main road. That could be a rail line, or yeah, that looks like a rail line. Um, see. It's quite hilly, foresty, and rural around here. There's a rail line again. Oh, no indication. Yeah. Now have a look to see where where the rail lines go. I presume there would be a rail line from Prague going uh, down towards the other cities. I, th I think these places are too small to just, uh, just zoom in. This would be a big place down here. Okay, so skiing areas, maybe we're uh, here somewhere. To be fair, I've already, uh, already forgotten what it was called. Okay, so it's all the way over here. Uh, still uh, just under 4,400 points. Uh, Nadek was there. This place, Old Rico. So, uh, old. See if we can see the rail line as well. Um, oh, yeah, there is, I think. Seems to be a rail line snaking uh, up the mountain. Anyway, round two. So let's see. Uh, we have this sun. Out, I think it seems so. I'm thinking this might be Mexico. That is next there, so I'm pretty sure it is, it is Mexico. But I'm gonna put a marker around, I mean, 
based on the vegetation around here. Hey, Toluca, I said one, three, four, and the appeal to go central. So, Toluca, let's, where's Toluca? Ah, Toluca's here. Three, four is there. Ten is down here. There's a Eupilka. Let's go back to the beginning and see exactly where we are. Started in a den. So it looks around back here, maybe. Or there. I think probably in this bend, that's the one. Right, that was really lucky. Uh, I just saw the junction, uh, this junction there, that seemed to fit. So I was really lucky. I've, I, I don't often get a perfect score in Mexico, so I'm very happy with this. Only three meters away. I think that's one of the closest I've ever had in Mexico as well. Uh, but also, it, it it does show that if you go in the right direction, because if I'd gone in this direction straight away, there was a uh, sign, um, there was a road sign uh, just here. Instead, I went in the other direction, and I couldn't see a road sign, I think, before I got up here. Uh, but still, that was close enough. Uh, anyway, so perfect score. That's uh, very good. Uh, round three. Let's see. All right. So, so we're in Ecuador at least. Uh, I don't know if road it goes on the straight north south. E25, okay, let's go into Ecuador. Yeah, let's see E25. We're looking towards the south node, uh, Ventanas and Babahoyo. Yeah, so E25 goes all the way north to south. Oh, and Babahoyo is there, Ventanas is there. Uh, so uh, Quince uh, Saloma, uh, Saloma is to east. And Saloma is there. But the question is, is this the junction we're at, or are we at this junction, for instance?
I think we're at the last junction because it says uh, La Serilia. That was just us here. Go back to the beginning. So we're on a straight north south, and we didn't go far until we got here. Maybe we're around one. Or that one. Let's just see if I can see the uh, winter San Jose. I, I'm going to say we're here. Okay, we actually got further down. Uh, but pretty close. Um, almost a perfect score. Right, round four. Uh, let's see. Elcon. Elgon Trackers. So it looks like we are in Africa. Driving on the left, and this thing here, I think, in uh, Kenya, that's the Kenyan flag, or it looks a bit like a Kenyan flag. So let's put a marker down in Kenya, put it in Nairobi. Again, we're in a straight north south road. Oh, there's a road sign here as well. Okay, so we are on the A1, uh, we have Kitala to the north. A1 is a Kitala is what's the Kimilili. Let's have a look, C42. C41. C44. Oh, that's a Kimi Lily. Oh, that's a lot of people there. I wonder if this is some sort of market. Looks like it. Oh, the East African University. <laughs> Interesting. It was kiosk. Um, just thinking. Uh, let's see. So that's a C forty two. Okay, so C forty two. You say. So we start, oh, Elegant Trackers. Started around here. I mean, I'm going to be honest, the amount of roads around here and possibly building, staggering. Now, if you look at this space, it doesn't look like uh, much if you zoom out of it. Course, as long as you zoom in, roads. But I'm, I'm just going to leave the mark here. I'm pretty sure we are where we are. Right, 13 meters. Uh, so another perfect score. And uh, I think that's probably the first time I had a perfect score in, in Kenya. So I'm very happy with that. Right, last one, and um, I've seen this sort of artifact before. Uh, I'm not entirely sure where we are. Just going to head north. My initial thinking is that we are either in Finland or in Sweden.
a stamp pump the either California trailer uh, does help, but it's the Polish spot as well. But I don't think we are in Poland. So we are in Sweden. Don't know where the place is. Looks more north to me. That's Chern and Home back now. Okay, hang on. Umeå is to the south, and Umeå is quite far north. Uh, and the left saw is there. Umeå is here, so we are on the E4. So we are around here somewhere. Gonna go south. Okay, so that's an end here. I presume it's this bend here. I think we started around there. Let's see. Old track. Uh, track on the right when I'm going south and see if I can find find it anywhere along here. Oh, I can't see it. Let's go back to the start. See it on the left. I can see it there. But we probably, ah. Actually, I, I was going to take a bit further south. But we, looks like this was the one uh, back I saw when I uh, went north. I couldn't find this one here. But still, Almost a perfect score, uh, so that's pretty good. I mean, all in all, it's the the only one the one in the Czech Republic that uh, that was far off. Uh, so after that, I had perfect score in Kenya and in uh, Mexico, and near perfect scores in Sweden and Ecuador. I am very pleased. Uh, please press. And I got one of the best scores I've had in a long time. So, very, very pleased. Anyway, if you like this video and would like to see some more, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. And also, uh, if you really like the videos, click like and leave me a comment. Um, especially if there's anything, uh, anything else you want to see other than daily challenges and uh, some of the, uh, I've done, uh, I've done the ten second no, uh, if on a Zoom. But you have another one coming up at the weekend. If I do an hour. If, if there's any other types of uh, GeoGuessr videos you'd like to see, uh, I'll uh, uh, just leave me a comment and I'll see if I can do them. In any case, uh, I'll see you again for another daily challenge tomorrow. Bye for now.